Chris is our guide. I've got a coin here and I want to let him look at it. It's silver, isn't it? It's, ooh. He's all the way from Ohio. Is that where you're from, Scott? And we got Peter from us. He's all the way from uh, South Carolina. And then we got this stranger over here. This is Nugget. Y'all know where he's from. North Carolina. <laughs> How you feeling? I'm feeling good. Oh, so good. <laughs> Ready to go get some coins. Awesome. Yeah. Getting all set up. Trying out to do the Nugget Nugget. Ready to go out. Here's the gear. We're gonna be here at eight o'clock, and we are going to go out and do some detecting today. Wanted to show y'all kind of the the house that we're staying at. I recorded this yesterday, but like a dummy, I didn't turn the microphone on, so you didn't hear a word that I said. But uh, yeah, it's about 46, 48 degrees. A little windy. Got a chance of rain. Don't know if it's gonna rain. We'll see. Not that house, but this house right here. What you gonna get today? I'm probably gonna get a hammered silver. That's what I'm hoping for. Hammered silver. Well, as long as you don't get hammered, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, y'all say hello. knows where everything is. It's gonna put us on the hot spots. Anyway, we'll see y'all. tree they're over there talking and uh, Scott's out detecting we got this whole field here we got that field back over there and we got another field on the other side of this big tree over here that we can hit so uh, kind of cool kind of windy but uh, it's gonna be a good day I'm gonna get to swinging I get anything good definitely gonna turn the camera on and show it to you so let's go have some fun Digging out here by the side of this big old tree and got my first real good target, believe it or not. It's still a bullet, but it's not, it's a dropped uh, musket ball. Check that out. That is really nice. Or, yeah, it's a dropped musket ball. It's just no telling how old that is here in England. Probably 1700s. It's a pretty one. All right, got two smash bullets and one dropped ball, one drop bullet, a uh, round ball. So let's keep going. Hopefully we'll find a good Roman coin or a hammered medieval coin or something out here today. So let's keep at it. Cool looking old tree laid down. There was an oak on the other side of the road that was 1100 years old. That's an old oak. 
I'm fixing to try to cross this thing. See if I can get to the other side, the other field over there. Peter's right through there. I don't know if you can see him or not. But uh, we're fixing to either fall in the creek or we're going to get to the other side. One of the two. We'll see. I've got a 12 or 13 on the Equinox and uh, my first piece of brass. I'm really not sure what it is. I just dug it up. It looks kind of like a uh, like a key or something. Let me put it here where you might see it a little bit better. I don't know what that is. But you know, when in doubt, they say when you're in an area and you don't know what you're digging, just keep it all because it could be some valuable old tool. Who knows? I'll ask Chris later on see what this is. Let's keep going. Just got a 10 or 11. Targets are few and far between out here. It's not like in Latvia where I was digging a lot of coins already. But got one about six inches down and uh, just popped it out. It was in the sidewall right here and just popped it out. And it's going to be another another flat button. Shank is broken on it. But I'll take it. I'm, at least that's human activity here. I'm still in the same area. I dug the other two just right over there. And so and all in this little area. All right, I got it cleaned up just a little bit better. It's going to be a nice little convex uh, flat button. Still got the full shank on it and uh oh yeah I means there's some humans here at one time let's keep on going in this little area right here and uh there's a close-up here's a back let me get it to i don't know what age this would be or anything but hey i'll take it all right let's keep on going i don't know how well you can tell on the camera but here's the fence row right here and just past that tree you see that high rise that's where a castle was and you can see the low dip right here. I believe that's where they said the moat may have been. And uh, this is a protected side over there. We can't dig. And uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that uh, castle. I bet it's loaded with all kinds of good stuff. My thought was there's two guys way over there on the other side of the field. You can't see them. But uh, my thought was come over here and work this area nearest the castle. And so far, just in this area right here is where I found those two flat buttons and that uh, piece of brass. So let's get at it. Well, I got my first coin. I don't care what it is. I don't care how old it is. I just wanted my first English coin. And I just popped it up. It's coming up as a 2223. And it's right there. Right there. I don't think it's going to be old. Uh, but I don't know. It could be. So I don't want to rub it too much. Let me, uh, let me get my other camera and get a close-up. And I'll get my holy water out. And we'll see what we can come up with on this one. All right. Let me get my other camera. All right, I'm going to have a uh, some dude with a laurel leaf uh, wreath on his head. 1816. Little chubby dude. I don't know what this is. I have to ask Chris. Uh, has a lot of good definition on it. 1816. I do believe it's going to be silver. My first coin is an 1816. I don't know what it is. We'll have to dig that up and uh, ask Chris what that is. All right, let me get a picture of this. This is our guide. I've got a coin here, and I want to let him look at it. It's silver, isn't it? It's, ooh. It's a king. Is that King George III? It's King George III, bullhead sixpence. That's a nice one. 1816. 1816. So, look at that. It's got like the laureate. Right? That's called a bullhead because of the what you said. Yeah, I, I said on the camera earlier he had a big fat head. Is it 18, 18, 1816. Yeah, it's a good one. Silver. That's a real good shape. Found it right over there. Right over there. It's in great shape too. Yeah, I found one like this last time I was here. They're pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really Roman. The head on the that's head what head I thought head. at first. I said, no, that's got to be just a modern aluminum coin or something. Yeah. But uh, that's modern. Yeah. It's 1816. Yeah, it's still <laughs> modern. Yeah, it's still modern. It's nice though. It's, uh, it's a yeah, good it's yeah. silver. Did you yeah, check around there? Good. Right, yeah, it's, it's 23 on the Equinox. It was a good high tone too. It's a deeper shallow. It was uh, about three inches. Oh, it wasn't that very deep. At, yeah, it wasn't that deep at all. Well, yeah, let's keep. All right, I got a good solid 16 right here and dug it down. I got the Nugget Master with me over here, and you see the imprint right there, and it popped it out right there. It might be older than I thought. I don't know what that's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a more modern right there. I can see. Is that going to be? That's King George. All right, what I got is a King George the Sixth. 
never dug one of these and it's going to be a modern more modern Let me flip it around for you somewhere on there is a date there it is right there 1948 and uh, all right we went from King George the third to King George the sixth we got to go the other way all right we'll keep moving all right, I get a 23, 24, 25, 26. Right there. That's so maybe one of those coins I dug a while ago, one of those big, um, I don't know what they are. Um, but let's see what this is. It's gonna be right there. Sit in the sit in the plug. I mean the clod. It's hard to see. I don't know what's gonna be. Ah, it's gonna be a one penny. Oh, it's a greeny. Let's check that out. It's not gonna be old. 1938. But I'll take that. Being in England, I dug these in the states. It's a King George the uh, uh, the sixth. What it's going to be, it's going to be a large cent, one penny, 19, 1938. All right, we'll keep moving on. I'll take it. Well, I'm taking a break for lunch. I just wanted to let you see how big this tree is. Man, these oak trees are humongous. I bet it's eight foot across. Big old oak tree. Reminds me of East Texas. I'll tell you what. Well, I got a, a good signal here. It's 18 uh, on, a, on my uh, Equinox. It's pretty deep. Just popped it out. It's going to be another round ball. Don't know how old that'll be, but it'll be a nice dropped round ball. All right, let's keep going. I'm back out in this pasture where I dug those coins right up here through the middle, and I dug that silver over there toward that tree in that area. And uh, there used to be an old house site over here. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on. All the other guys and gal, they're, they're all over the place. So I came back over here where I've been finding stuff and just kind of gridding it off a little bit more. All right, let's see what we get. Let's uh, work this fence row over here and see what we come up with. Maybe there's some stuff down that fence row or whatever. We'll see what we can get. All right, we'll see you then. Just got a good 21 signal and just popped it out of the sidewall here. You can see it right down there in the bottom of the hole. Definitely going to be a coin. Yeah, I see some, some, something on it. Let me uh, switch cameras and let me clean this up and see what we come up with. I don't really know what I've got. You can see it looks like a bust right there looking to the left. There's a neck, the chin to the left. It's pretty thin. I can't get any definition off the back. I'm going to have to do some cleanup later on. I don't want to clean these coins too much out here in the field. I'll give it to Chris here in just a little bit and see what it is. I can see some writing right there. Right on the bottom. Almost looks like a date. I can't tell. I just can't tell at all what that may be. Maybe a KG2? I don't know. I'll, uh... Find out what it is and let you, let you guys know in the wrap-up. All right, another good coin. That's what I'm looking for. I think I broke the 1800s. I may be in the 1700s with this one here. All right, let's keep going. Now, I think I've got a very old coin here. I'm not sure. It's small. I've been looking for this all day long. Can you see it right there? Right there. Hope it's not a button. Hopefully, it's going to be a coin, but I don't know yet. Nope, it's going to be a flat button. It's going to be a flat button. It's going to be an old one. I'm looking for a Roman coin. They're about this size. And I thought I had one here. Let's ring up like a 13. All right, I'll, 
I'll keep going for that elusive coin. Let's keep looking. I was I was getting 11 to a 12 signal, and I just popped it up. It's right there. I don't know what it looks like it's going to be. Maybe, maybe a button. It's real fragile. It looks like it's already broke. Yeah, it's going to be a... One of those uh, convex buttons or concave, whatever you call those things. It's going to be a very old button there. I don't want to rub it too much. I don't see anything really on it. But hey, I'll take it. I'll see if Chris can identify this, what age that might be. Looks like it's got some type of little design on it. Can't tell on the camera though. All right, let's keep going. A hot spot here just uh, got another 11 12 signal figured it's a button signal it's about uh, six inches deep just popped it over looks like it's going to be a looks like it's a tomback I think that's a tomback button all right I'll take these old buttons all day long I like them shank is broken on it um, or bent over can't really tell all right We'll keep on going. All right, I was getting a 22, a good, good, solid hit. It's, uh, it was down there, oh, seven inches, and I just popped it out, and I can see the edge of it right there. I don't know what it is. I hope it's a coin. Come on, coin. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a coin. Oh, yeah, it's going to be an old coin at that. Hopefully, I can get some definition off of this one. I don't know what this is. It looks like the other one that I got a while ago. I like it when they come out of the ground you can still see the imprint it's pretty toasted but I can see the line down across the bottom so this may be a um, it's gonna definitely be some type of uh, I think it's gonna be like Britannia maybe I don't know I just don't know but I uh, can't get anything off of it the date should be underneath that line right there and I can't make anything out but a one I can barely make it out it's toasted well, it's getting dark out here. It's getting dark pretty early, about 5 o'clock, 5.30. It's going to be pitch dark. I don't know what time it is right now, probably about 4. But I got another signal. It was ringing up like a uh, a 5 or a 6, and uh, I just popped it out. It's definitely round. It looks old. It's going to be a button. Yeah, the back is gone. It's going to be a very old button. Check that out. There's the back. It's pretty crude on the shape of it. All right, man. I'll take those. Those are pretty nice. All right, that's a day for me. Day one of England down. Tomorrow's day two. So let's get, go to bed and get ready for tomorrow. So here's my wrap up from day one. Um, I got a couple of fired musket balls. I got one drop musket ball and another smaller one here. I got a piece of a uh, belt buckle on one corner that's broken off and then another piece of something right there. Don't quite know what that is. And um, then we have, uh, we got two, four, six, six buttons there. Some concave button, flat button, a couple more flat buttons. I believe these are going to be two tomback buttons. They, uh, um, I don't know if that's tomback, but that maybe that one's tomback, but uh Maybe this one was. Yeah, that one and this one down here. But uh, good button day. Don't really know the date on those. I did get a, good, a couple of good coins that I really like. This is a two shilling from 1948. It's modern. And uh, this is going to be a one one penny. King George the Sixth. This is King George the Sixth. King George the Sixth. And so that's got a good green... There's Britannia on there. Uh, two good coins here. I got a KG2. This is going to be in the 1700s. And uh, not real certain. It's not a whole lot of detail on it. You can kind of tell, but you can see him looking off to the left. Uh, but we're working on identifying this one a little bit. This is We think this is going to be a King William. And this is going to go from 1695 up to about 1729, something like that. So those are my oldest coins. I got 16, I mean, 17, 1600, 1700, uh, 1900s. And my best find of the day 
is going to be this sixpence, King George III. Maybe I get in some light here. You can see a little bit better. And this is 1816, and it's silver, and it's in great, great condition. Let me see if I can get it focused in on you. But it is in great condition. I don't even know if it's right side up or upside down. But uh, but he's a, they call it a bull, bull head or bullish or something like that. But he's got a big old fat head. But uh, very nice. Well, that's digging in England day one. Not a bad day. Um, got a kind of variety of everything. Um, I'm pleased with the day. I'm, I'm pretty tired being the first day. And uh, and uh, we've got some more finds. I didn't bring them up there in my pouch. And dug an old iron and some other stuff. So anyway, uh, we're going to go out to eat tonight, get rested up. Going out day two. We've got 10 days of digging over here. So until we meet again, just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. <music>